is a video review of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 20th Anniversary SH Figure Arts White Ranger. But this being the case, this ranger wasn't officially a zoo ranger, and as a matter of fact, he was a Dia Ranger. Hopefully I'm saying that right. What was supposed to be the following series upcoming after Zoo Ranger, which they didn't incorporate the suits with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for some reason, I have no idea, maybe because they just didn't look right, but, you know, it was around the time during Season 2, the mutiny all started, Lorzed arrived, the Thunderzords came into play, and Tommy lost his Green Ranger powers and soon became the White Ranger, but you know that already, I don't have to go for all that. Anyway, starting off with the package as usual. It's a very nice package, as usual. It's gold, just like the Green Rangers, which I do have right here. So the only one that's silver at this moment is Jason's. So yeah. Uh, speaking of which, also, just to show it off, because I'm going to. There you go. Once you stand them all together, you'll have a series of seven Rangers, if you get the White Ranger. Which you don't have to. But, you know, he's Mighty Morphin. I, I mean, you, you got... You do have to have him, I mean. Why wouldn't you? Unless you're really satisfied with the Green Ranger. I mean, they're both Tommy. But, then again, these two did go at it in uh, two episodes. So, anyway. Back to the package itself. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, they're basic. Basic. Not much. Nothing going on special on this side. Nothing really at the bottom. Nothing's at the top, really. Just on the side. And not much beyond that. So that's the end of this packaging. Let's get it out of the way and just bring in the figure and get this review rolling. There he is. At long last, we finally have the perfect White Ranger figure. I'm not saying that... America didn't try. Of course, I'm talking about Bandai of America. I mean, the Super Legends one was pretty spectacular, but it just wasn't great. I mean, the muscular points and the articulation really... I mean, it's not figure art standard, truly. But it had its charm, even though I don't have it anymore. So instead, we're going to have to do some size comparisons with some other figures from the past. That being said, let's start this off with the talking White Ranger figure. So there's that. Let's bring in the second figure to come out. The Automorphing White Ranger. As you can see, they're pretty much in scale with one another. Even if he is just a tad taller. And then, of course, let's bring in this little guy. So it's like looking at father and son, isn't it? Yep, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2010 White Ranger. Which isn't a bad figure, but the animated proportions just aren't that good. There's not much to look at when it comes to this figure art, unfortunately, because this is the real sad part. Let's get to the accessories. He has his instruction manual, like all the other figure arts. As you can see, it says White Ranger and not Kaiba Ranger, which this is what it's referenced by. These two fists, an extended piece to uh, Saba, which he does have right here. And I'm going to try and get him out very carefully because this is the weirdest part about this figure art here. In order to put Saba inside the holster, you have to split him apart and you have to switch the blade. Notice that this blade right here, which I haven't put on yet, is a lot longer than this one right here. Well, that's because this is battle mode and this is storage mode. Go figure. So anyway, once you've got that done, just... Pop it in like so, and it, ha it hangs in there pretty nice. Put it on his hand, and there you go. Now he's wielding Saba, which is nice. And uh, I'll just go ahead and show this off anyhow. Saba is very, very nicely detailed. Does not get any better than this, than the quality of the SH Figuars. I mean, they really, really spare to no expense. I mean, look at that. Wow, that's very nice. Not to say that Bandai of America never did try, but, you know, yeah. I mean, there, there's like no love for paintwork when it comes to Bandai of America. So, for articulation, White Ranger's got everything that you would possibly think of, like all the other figure arts. Ball jointed head, ball jointed neck, ball jointed shoulders, 
though the uh, shoulder bits do get in the way, but fortunately Bandai Japan saw that coming and decided to do something about it. Ball jointed shoulders, uh, very nice range in the elbows, ball jointed wrists, though for some reason on mine this one does not like to stay on. Ball jointed waist, ball jointed legs, they'll go in any position you can possibly think of. They've also got that double joint, which is very dangerous to figure arts, especially if they fall down in the wrong place. You can break them very easily because they are very paper thin, and I do not like that. Never will. Double jointed knees, the feet are also on ball joints. They pivot up and down, they turn side to side, they rotate around a full 360, and toe articulation. So yeah, you can get this figure in a lot of dynamic poses if you so choose. And just because somebody is going to ask me anyway, there you go guys. There's the gold team. So, uh, I got nothing else to say about this figure. That's pretty much the end of this review. The only thing that I can tell you now is whether or not to go get him. The price point at this moment is like $45 on Image Anime. This is where I'm getting most of my figure arts nowadays. These guys are located in New York. Image Anime is the best way to go. Unless, of course, you like Big Bad Toy Store, which they're over in California. So, yeah, it's, it's your option. But, yeah, he's definitely worth it. The only thing that he does not come with that Kaiba Ranger does is that Akaba Ranger chest coin symbol. Which, this one is actually permanently sealed in. So, it is going to be permanently the Tiger Coin. You cannot un pop this or anything like that it's in there in place so that's the only difference of everything else is just one and the same he's got that pearl white finish which you know i'm a bit disappointed he didn't come with more accessories like hands i mean if he were to come with more hands you could put him in more dynamic poses especially some from the show which i'm going to throw this image up right here So you see my point, I mean, uh, I really hate to say this, I think this is the point where Bandai Japan is going to start cheaping out on the figure arts. Not in paint scheme or the details and such or the articulation, I just think accessories is now becoming a naysay to uh, some of this line. But you know what, that's a story for another day. I've dragged this out too long, I'm probably boring you guys. So yeah, he's worth it. But, I mean, don't be expecting a lot of accessories, as I'm showing right here. That's it. That's everything you get. So, yeah, that's the end of this review, guys. If you got any questions or comments, you can leave them down below or answer them when I got time. Any requested reviews, I'm still taking some, so, you know, ask away. And until next Red X review of Epic Proportions, that's me, Red X, signing out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys.